what's good guys today i'm doing a outside the waistband for the h and k p30 sk so i got my ladder bar throw that on there get some tape going on Get in, we know it's gonna go right here. Now this side, we would have to block right here, but we are doing a uh, little channel to find where we're going in. And that goes, it's gonna go to about here. And there's a little little spot that we're gonna have to have to do. So we'll take that. We'll put this down. Doesn't want to stick today. Let's try that again. Much better. So that spot's right here. So we'll do something small on it. Uh, this is angled, so we'll just take this and throw this. Throw this right here with it. So then for my uh, retention plate, I always use, uh, again, a piece of wood. The MDF works fantastic. Um, cut it to the shape where it's, you know, aesthetically pleasing. So these are pretty much universal. So what I do is I'll literally just like that. So, and we'll take that, bolt it right in front of the trigger guard. Then I always go from the trigger guard to the blocking. All right, there we go. So now this is ready to form. Quick, simple. Uh, this is going to be black right hand OWB. So I'm going to form those real quick and I'll get back to you. gonna be non-canted so I'll show you a little trick here all right obviously straight up and down rim oil just a quick little spurt on it other piece get that puppy in there
show you what it looks like when it comes out. Out of the press, we're going to be putting it together. We're doing uh, loops on this guy, so we're going to get this guy out, which is the uh, the whole measurements for the loops that I use. And then we have this tool. I use it in a lot of my OWV, OWB videos. This is a uh, contour gauge, so you use it to create a straight line across an object that doesn't have a straight surface. So. I always leave good enough room. Like I said, we're going to go right around there. We'll throw it on there. Make sure to square it up. And there is our straight line. Now this is a um, this is the HK P30, so all the HK designs, they stop. Uh, well, they don't have a, a grip mag release they have it in the trigger guard so we're actually going to be pretty much doing that so we cut it out I don't want to go too low because it'll throw off the balance of it so if we leave it just where it is um, the, the top of the belt will be here if we go down with it to there it'll start to lean and it's just it's not comfortable and it flops come up Right, so uh, I have to get, and this is how I do this part. Line them up, make sure it looks good, get the right spacing you want. Trace it, trace the hole. Trace it, do the hole. Throw this guy up here, which is not the right one. Let's say it looked different. Should get the right one. There we go. That's better. So we know we're going to go there. Obviously, we're going to drill in the center too, but why waste our time? All right. So we're going to cut it off at the muzzle because my OWBs have the muzzle open. Go to the trigger or the um, sight channel. Bam. That comes out and there's going to be a rivet there and then the adjustable retention there. Get your clamps and clamp down the drill guide. If you notice, I'm not separating them just yet. Drill the holes after so it's perfectly in the right spot. And now at this point, you can break it apart. And pull that out. I go ahead and clean up the holes. And then this is a part that some people don't understand. Uh, we are going to add the retention before we rivet everything together. It makes everything that much easier to do it before everything is all together.
Go. Come on. Yes. All right. Next step, rivets.
gonna show you a little trick I have to get those right angles. It'll be pretty sweet. But until then. If you don't know what these are, these are buffing wheels. So literally all it is is a piece of sandpaper, not sandpaper, but a flap wheel that mounts onto one of these guys, a buffer. So if you are like me and looking for ways to improve, you could go ahead and order all of this stuff. So it come, they come in different sizes. All right, I like the red one for taking off a lot of material, and the green one I use for uh, kind of like a, not really a buff, but gets the edge down. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use on the right angle right there, and uh, we can see how it is now, and let's take a peek of how it is. easier to get in the hard to reach spots. Next step is the easy task of bending the ears. So uh, literally what we're going to do is throw it in there. And if you don't have a, uh, a heating jig, then this works perfectly fine. So I actually have one coming in. So once I get it in, I'll do a video on it. But for now, take a heat gun. And you're going to heat the inside. Outside, inside, outside, just till it's enough to be uh, pliable, and we'll go from there.
You don't want to bend too much. Just enough. And I'll show you the reason why you don't want to bend it too much. Look at that. And on to the final part, which is uh, pretty easy. All we're doing is mounting everything up. So we'll be taking quarter inch, quarter inch, half inch. Grab the Loctite. She wrote. And there it is. That is a HK P30 SK OWB right hand in just plain black. No bells and whistles, no nothing. There you have it. Go make something great.